closed in the past few days. That was a really, really, it's a really painful time. I'm so in the past few days, that was a really, really, it's a really painful time. I'm sorry. All right, buckle up for the latest chapter in the never ending saga of the Diddy lawsuit drama, because this time it's hitting a whole new level. Rumors are swirling faster than ever, alleging that Justin Lil Rod Usher, Meek Mill, and even the one and only offspring of Will Smith, none other than Jaden Smith, are all tangled up in this mess. But here the kicker whisper suggests that Will Smith himself may have had a hand in tossing Jaden into the lion's den, leaving the green light for his involvement with Jaden now thrust into the spotlight speculation is rife and fans are downright furious after all we've witnessed Jaden's struggles over the years from his dramatic departure from the family nest at a tender age to his public battles with mental health. But now the truth seems to be bubbling to the surface. Will Smith caught in the crossfire has reportedly come about his role in the debacle. The burning question on everyone's lips, what exactly did he confess to? And what unspeakable acts did did he allegedly subject these young stars to rise yourselves? Because if you thought the lawsuits were shocking, this revelation will rock you to your very core. Got bitten, you know, down that road. Now you know Speedy don't have to go down that one right, so you know there can there there certainly can be more artistry. All right, let's dive into into the captivating journey of Jaden Smith's rise to fame. We've all witnessed how his star ascended, haven't we? Thanks to his dad's Hollywood stardom, it might seem like smooth sailing, but whispers in the grapevine suggest otherwise. Rumor has it that behind the glitz and glamour lay a darker truth that young Jaden's innocence may have been the currency for his success. You might recognize Jaden as the kid from the Curra Kid, but his story starts way before that it all began with his poignant performance alongside his dad in the pursuit of happiness. Back in 2006, in this touching tale of a struggling father-son, do Jaden's betrayal struck a chord with audiences and critics alike. Despite his youth, he displayed a depth and maturity that left a lasting impression, setting the stage for what was to come. But Jaden didn't stop there. He went on to land roles that would define his career, including the iconic Karai Kid reboot. And let's not forget his fay into music who could forget his collaboration with Justin Bieber on Never Say Never But Hold On To Your Hats, folks, because there's a twist rumor has it that Jaden isn't the only one caught up in this whirlwind ditty drama. Justin Bieber himself might have some connections to this tangled web of lawsuits, but fear not we'll unravel that thread later in this video. So sit tight and stay tuned for more revelations. Now, when it comes to Jaden Smith, his journey hasn't just been about fame and fortune. It's also been a roller coaster ride of mental health struggles that many have observed. Keeping tabs on the Smith family means witnessing Jaden's eyebrow raising behaviors that signal potential mental well being challenges. Let's rewind to the 2018 premiere of Skate Kitchen, where Jaden grabbed headlines by accessorizing with an iguana perched on his shoulder. But that's just the beginning. His pension for eccentricity extends to mismatched shoes, a kaleidoscope of hairstyles ranging from locks to Afro cornrows, and a palette of dye jobs, including blonde burgundy and even green Jaden's style choices continued to make Jaws drop like his unexpected switch to pink hair in 2019, followed by experiments like a half-shaped head in bleached eyebrows by Coachella 2019, sporting pink locks and gold-plated teeth. Some fans joke that he looked like a time-traveling elder with a penchant for mind-altering substances. Then there's the eyebrow-raising moment at Kendall Jenner's 20,120 birthday bash during a pandemic, where Jaden turned heads with an oxygen mask while Kendall fed backlash for the event. Jaden's accessory choice added another layer of controversy. Additionally, remember that time when he shared a tearful video, his social media presence laden with cryptic tweets like, the more time you spend awake, the more time you spend asleep, and just stare in the mirror and cry, and you'll be good. It paints a vivid picture of his inner turmoil. It's evident that behind the glitz and glamour lies a young man grappling with his demons, seeking solace in the public eye.
but perhaps the most poignant chapter in Jaden's story unfolded when he made a daring choice to leave home at just 16 years old. Despite growing up in the glare of the celebrity spotlight, he opted to turn his back on interviews, even those within his own family's fold. Following his departure, speculation ran rampant as to what prompted his exit, with many fingers pointing towards fractures within the seemingly picture-perfect marriage of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. It wasn't until recently that Jada publicly acknowledged their separation. However, it was Jaguar Wright who provided a more handed insight suggesting that the Smiths' relationship was more a facade than a fairy tale. This might not come as a shock if you've been following their story closely. The infamous Chris Rock slap incident seemed too rehearsed almost like a stage performance to flaunt Will's image as a loving father and husband. But beneath this facade lies a reality far from affectionate in addition to Jaden's unconventional style and apparent struggles with mental health. There's also been concern about his substance use. At one point, he looked so unwell that many feared for his life in a revealing interview. Jada herself confessed to introducing Jaden to psychedelic substances adding fuel to the fire the trauma whether it's your emotions your ego not being able to express yourself and then i feel like psychedelics are a way to tear down that wall and see what's beyond it but who added fuel to this ongoing fire look no further than will smith and shed diddy combs there's a whirlwind of rumors swirling around suggesting that will smith may have given consent for Jaden to partake in diddy's notorious freak shows if you are not familiar with just how disturbing these freak shows can be let's take a moment and dive into the unsettling details according to lil rod's lawsuit diddy supposedly installed hidden cameras in every room of his properties in los angeles and on star island these cameras were reportedly used to clandestinely record various individuals, including celebrities, artists, music label executives, and athletes, in engaging in illegal activities. Shockingly, these recordings were made without the knowledge or consent of those involved. The lawsuit goes on to claim that Diddy regularly hosted SX trafficking parties supposedly involving the use of illegal substances. The situation reached a tipping point. When Diddy's alleged mule was arrested on substance charges at Miami Airport, leading to police raids on both Diddy's LA and Miami mansions, following the raids, a noticeable shift occurred in the social circles surrounding Diddy with many celebrities choosing to keep their distance. It's widely believed that numerous individuals were involved in these freak shows, including Jaden. But who else was implicated? Let's start with Justin Bieber. In case you missed it, Jaden and Justin made headlines for their shocking interaction at Coachella, where it appeared that they were engaging in suggestive behavior in broad daylight, while some brushed it off as harmless fun. Between longtime friends, fans couldn't help but delve deeper. What they uncovered seemed to point back to Diddy's speculation. Mounted that their behavior was influenced by Diddy, there's even a video supposedly showing Diddy in the game continuously supplying Justin with drinks at another party, despite Justin appearing visibly intoxicated and unsteady on his feet, they persistently poured more drinks down his throat. Happy birthday, welcome to the This Shocking Video recently surfaced online, alleging that Justin Bieber was under the influence and taken advantage of multiple times on a particular night. It's disturbing footage that's been making waves. But given the long-standing rumors surrounding Justin and Diddy, it's not entirely surprising Justin and Diddy's friendship dates back to Justin's early years, when he was just a 15-year-old Diddy even went as far as making extravagant promises, like gifting Justin a fancy Ferrari for his sweet 16 in a lavish mansion when he turned 18. When you know when you get 16, you good to go, I'm good to go, yeah. And then when you get 18, you get the house, you get the mansion. Okay, I get the mansion. 
Naturally, people began to question why Diddy was throwing around such large sums of money, seemingly out of the blue what's more in the same eyebrow. Raising video, did he mention spending a whopping 48 hours with Justin? Now let's pause and consider this Justin was barely a teenager at that point. point you can practically see Justin's confusion and nerves in the video, wondering why Diddy was showering him with all this attention and extravagant gifts. Seen the movie 40 48 hours right now. He's having 48 hours with Diddy him and his boy and they're having the times of their lives. Like 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 you know where we as if the situation wasn't already bewildering. There's yet another video circulating where Diddy bluntly asked Justin why they haven't been in touch. The discomfort practically radiates off Justin as he struggles to come up with a response his awkwardness palpable. Even through the screen, starting to act different. Hey, you, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, be, you know, partners and whatnot, but you never really got my number. So, okay, my number, yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell my number, yeah. But wait, there's more.